Hello my friends, in this tutorial video I will explain you one of the ways of communication in Java, so sit back and relax and enjoy the show. In Java you can use socket and server socket to make TCP connections. Let's make one. For using this method you need to specify the address which is local host in my case case and the port number can be anything above uh, 124 because below this port number is system no port numbers I will use 3003 because I like this number as you can see it requires us to catch the error Well, seems like I will write it on my own. Exception, exception, e, e, print type trace. Good. In this method, you need to firstly listen. And for listening, you use server socket. Let's name it server socket ss. For making a server socket, you need to only specify the port because it will always listen from the current address. So let's tell the port which is 3003 in our case. Let's catch the error with this code. So this piece of code listens. This piece of code connects. The last part is accept the connection. For accepting a connection, you need to so make a socket to store the connection and accept by accepting. Good. If you try to connect before then listening, it will give an error. So, this creates a connection. And also don't forget that this accept method blocks the current thread until it receives a connection or the server socket gets closed. So, let's see this by system out pendline. Successful. Good. If we try to run this code, it doesn't print the successful even though we started the code. For making it write, write the successful, we need to connect it. Look. It wrote successful. If you want to transfer data with these sockets, you need, you, there are a couple of ways. The most common I use is data input output streams. Data input stream in equals new data input stream. And you need to get the input stream. Good. And for reading data, you simply write this. Read. Let's read the char. For sending data, you need to do something really similar. Data output set stream. Let's name it out equals new data output stream. 
you need to get the output stream once again. Let's write the data. So you simply use the write method. Write char. Let's make this char a exclamation mark. Now let's run the application. It's listening right now. Let's connect. And we successfully sent the exclam exclamation mark as data. Also, you can send data in both directions in the same socket using data input output streams. Simply, you can write generate an input stream in here and an output stream in here, which uses the same sockets input and output streams. There is also something called scanner and print writer. I personally do not recommend them because they often and they are simply hard to use and often gives an error and only sends string data. But with data input output stream you can send send any kind of data. Lastly, I already built a, a class dedicated to handle the sockets. In my own API, you can find the GitHub link in the description. Here, it has constructors and ways of handling auth page and input page. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.